acting on camera is not the same as acting on on a stage. Uh -huh. um, it's very much repeat and do it over again. Uh -huh. Hi, and welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. And I have Gabe Bowles, Bowles? Bowles. 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 Bowles on the show today. I don't get anybody's name names right for very long. Um, so Gabe, we're gonna talk about um, uh, this series that you're on and what it, what the series is about and mm -hmm. and how you kind of got on the series. Um, it is Cobra Kai, so I don't know anything about the series. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because sometimes I'll have people on the show and then all of a sudden I'll start se seeing the series a lot and then I'll end up watching it just mm -hmm. to follow you guys because I like to see what everybody is doing. So tell me about Cobra Kai. Uh, well, Cobra Kai is... So, Karate Kid, okay. you know, the original Karate Kids. Um, so, it starts off 30 years after the first Karate Kid. Uh, it's where Danny LaRusso is quite successful, and Johnny Lawrence is not the most successful. Okay. Um, so, it picks up from Johnny Lawrence's perspective now. Um, like... He, it basically shows him getting back at uh, Danny. Mm -hmm. um, he starts Cobra Kai back again, and then he gets a bunch of uh, students, and they go to a tournament. Okay. So we're going to talk about something that we don't get to talk about a whole lot, and that's um, um, background work. Mm -hmm. And you actually started off on with the show doing background. So I want people to realize that background does have a benefit. It might not be something you want to do forever, but it does have a, it does have a benefit. Um, and a lot of times you're upgraded through background and you were actually upgraded through background, right? Yes. yes um, so being on the show and doing a lot of background with the show, what are some benefits as an actor that you believe that you're getting from this? So from background, um, just starting out with, if you're starting out as an actor, doing background, first of all, can help you find out if you actually enjoy acting. Yes. Because acting is not, acting on camera is not the same as acting on, on a stage. Uh -huh. um, it's very much repeat and do it over again. Uh -huh. And doing the background work is seeing if you, if you like that. Right. So, um... There's that, and when you're doing background work, um, you can be upgraded like I was, um, and then that's that's just really cool. Yeah, honestly. and you're also when you're when you, I encourage all of, all of my students when they first start off to do some background, and some studios are different. Um, the reason I do is because I feel like they need to learn set etiquette, mm -hmm. and they need to learn to be on. You first need to learn to be on a set. Yeah. And um, so I think that it has a lot of a lot of benefits. And then, um, yeah, being upgraded through background, that's a that I actually have about four students that were upgraded through through background. Nice. So um, you are training at uh, the Charlie Group uh -huh. over in uh, Fayetteville. OK. Um, what kind of stuff do you do there? Well, uh, they provide a bunch of different uh, classes. They'll provide, um, I just finished up with improv. Okay. Um, uh, they do character development. They do, um, like, feelings, like uh -huh. how to show emotions. Okay. Uh, which is honestly my favorite class because um, it teaches you how to trick your audience into thinking that, you're feeling those emotions when you're really not. Okay, okay. Um, do you feel like the training has benefited you? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the first step for, for any actor mm -hmm. because again, um, I mean, even, even as you, you develop in acting and you're booking really nice roles, you still need to stay in training because that's your place. Just like with a, with a stand-up comedian, he'll go and do open mics, mic nights. And it's like that with actors, you need to you need to always be trying to uh, get to a better and a deeper 
a deeper yeah. place in your classroom is where you can experiment. And it's a safe place mm -hmm. where you can experiment with that. So I have for you um, some crunch. Did I get mm. the right kind? Is yeah. that what you like? Yeah, you got that. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's to remind you that you're a gift in life. And let me tell you something. Actors are a gift in life because, and I'll get emotional about this because I feel passionate <laughs> about it. Um, you're a storyteller. And you are um, gifting yourself to the to basically bring forth life, and you're the life of the story. And so, um, thank you for your gift. I can't wait mm. to see, you know, your development and how and where you where you end up. If you have a, an advice to give to um, and somebody just wanting to do this, they haven't started classes yet. They haven't been on set yet. What advice would you give? Do it. Just honestly do it. Mm -hmm. um, try to get into classes. Try to get, uh, try out for even um, theater stuff. Mm -hmm. Because the most, the more practice you can get, the better chances you'll have. And the more likely you'll be on a set. Yeah. Something. I tell my students, anytime you get a chance to perform, even if you want to be a film actor and you get something for theater or you get a chance to do stand-up comedy or improv or any of those things, performing's performing and it's going to help mm -hmm. you somewhere. I, I've hosted a lot of things in my, in my lifetime and if I wasn't willing to step out and do that, even though it's not conventional acting, I wouldn't be sitting here with you mm. right now. So you don't know where your path is going to lead you. You just got to gain the skills to be able to do that. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We hope this segment inspired and educated you.